Lofoten Islands off the northern coast of Norway are home to some of the most beautiful and rugged stretches of landscape I've ever seen. Steve and I have a very specific goal for this leg of the adventure, but before we get into that, our journey through Lufoten actually begins just north of the Arctic Circle in Buda. Good morning. From Budo, we have just arrived. We picked up our sweet new rental car. We only have a few hours in town before we're going to cruise up to Lofoten on the ferry. We're going to go see what Budo, Buda, Budo, Budo, Bode, Budo, Boda, Budo. <laughs> Buddha. They sounded like Buddha. Buddha. We're gonna go see what Buddha has to offer. Let's go. On arrival, we meet up with our local connect, Ellen, of the Northern Norway Tourism Board, who shows us some incredible street art and explains a bit about the city's history. She tells us how Buda was almost completely destroyed during German air attacks in World War II, and how they're now using technology to develop themselves into a model smart city by minimizing their emissions output. She even helps us purchase some much needed supplies for our ensuing endeavor. We're in Buda, and our first step on our mission to Lofoten is we have to get the right gear because we will be competing in one of the country's biggest festivals, and that is the Sky Festival. Ellen's here to show us the way. Absolutely. Okay. First of all, we gotta get some fishing gear. Oh, that's the spot. Oh, 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 oh. Gentlemen, we will be competing and winning the Lofoten World Championship. The World Championship. They know it. Yeah, we are heavy favorites. So <laughs> our goal is to find some gear. We're going to need one pole and then anything else we can to catch the big guy. <laughs> we need one, yeah, one rod. One rod. Um, bit heavy for the bit cold fish. <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing it. I feel like this isn't professional. Most common lure for the cod. This is massive. Watch out. And very heavy. Yeah. He doesn't realize how unprepared we are. <laughs> this is all I have. That's the fun thing about this. We can put this in the water. Is <laughs> it for something? You gotta pull the hook out. No, this is this is for catching the wife. <laughs> this is for, wife, this yes. is later for at the festival. That's for such a delight. With fishing gear in hand, there's one more thing we really want to see. All right, we have some time here in Buda, so we came up to Sotstramba, which is actually one of the strongest tide pools in the world. You see this river. And it's all just swirling water, and it's cold up here on this bridge. The Saltstraumen is a small strait that connects the sea and a fjord with one of the strongest tidal currents in the world. This wild whirlpool of boils and vortexes happens when tides change and water funnels through the strait. And after a quick glimpse of this natural wonder, we needed to head back to Buda to grab the four-hour ferry over to Lufoten. Good morning from the most beautiful and rugged Lofoten. We just arrived last night via ferry. We woke up to our new Verbo and this surrounding is absolutely stunning. Completely lives up to the hype of all the photos and Instagrams that we've seen online on the weeks and days leading up to this trip. And now that we're here, we're in the middle of it, the seagulls screeching overhead, these gigantic white cliffs with snow on them, these red fishing cabins, cod drying out on the lines right next to us. This place is absolutely stunning. We're gonna go explore all of the little villages and things that we can find here in the area. This is Lofoten, day one, come on. 
From our base camp in Sorvagen, we have two days to explore the southern islands of Lufoten before needing to report to the capital city of Svolvat for our dream event. Our first stop is on the southern end of Moskenes Island at a little fishing village called Ol. We are completely in awe right now. No, no, literally, this is the town of Ol. Pretty bad, right? Once a town that specialized in stockfish, its main income now is tourism. Although, there isn't many people around this time of year, which is actually one of the big reasons why we came in March. It's only open during the season. Oh, the bakery's closed. Next up is the oldest and perhaps most picturesque fishing village in all of the Lufoten archipelago, Hamnoi. And now we're over in Hamnoi, and this is probably the most iconic shot of all of Lofoten. It's pretty beautiful. It's got the rocks in front, the red cabins, and the giant rock cliffs above. And just a few minutes back down the E10 is Rhine. So we are on our, our mission of little villages here in Lofoten, and we just stopped in Raina, which is one of the most popular places to stop when you're in this side of Lofoten. The 69-acre village is the administrative center of Moskenes municipality, has a population of 314 people, and its major lifeline is very easy to see and smell. Cod, or Skry, is known as the Norwegian miracle. Skry comes from one of the world's largest and most sustainably managed cod stocks. And although it doesn't seem like it here, only 10% of over 400 million migrating cod are caught and branded Skry. All over the Lufoten Islands between February and May, you'll see an endless supply of drying cod on these giant wooden racks. They're left out here for about three months before being brought inside to mature for up to another 12 months. These stockfish are the country's longest sustained export commodity, going all the way back to the Viking days. And somehow, even with all these glorious smells in the air, we still managed to make some friends. <laughs> Not that we know, right? All right, we are leaving Araina right now, and we just picked up some Russian hitchhikers. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on a mission to go to Anita's to get some fish sandwiches. We don't know if it's open. We're hoping it's open. Anita's Yermat. Steve's here, as always, pilot position. Ladies. Hi. <laughs> what do you guys think of Lofoten so far? The most beautiful place. We love it. There yeah. you go. All right, let's continue. Fish burger. That's what we want. These three lovely Russian vacationers were walking along the highway in the snow, so naturally we invite them for some fish sandwiches at a place that came highly recommended by Ellen. Anita's is packed with all the northern Norwegian whale. treats and is the yeah. perfect spot whale. for a break. Halibut. I've never had whale before. Whale. Well. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay. yes. I also have to the coffee. Yeah. Some classics. Yes. She takes this. Slaw. Wow. Homemade sauce. Comes over here. Gets the burger. That's it. Alright, here is the traditional fish burger from Anita. Crunchiness from the slaw, sweetness from the homemade sauce. This nice, tender little cod patty. Good bun. That's all you can ask for. <laughs> After lunch, the sun comes out, so it's time to hit the beach. There's a cliff there. All right, we've just made it to the beach. It is beautiful. The girls are ready. Run in the water, slow motion shots. Here we go. This is really crazy. It's like white sand, like beautiful Caribbean sand and amazing green water all in a Arctic background. This is crazy. Take away the frosty temperatures and snowy surface and Romberg Beach looks as if it could be just as much in the Caribbean as here in the Arctic Circle. Plus, it goes to show you that girls love the beach no matter what the weather conditions. The 
reputation of Lou Fulton's beauty definitely does not disappoint. And from here, we decided to call it a day and vow to get an early start the next morning. We are here in Raina. Raina Fjord is right behind us and there is just cod drying everywhere. Could you believe it? No, that won't work. What if cod was one of us? No. In cod we trust. We are here in Lofoten. No, that's not gonna work. And may cod have mercy on your soul. Cod, you believe it? Cod morning. Cod, you believe it? Cod, have mercy on us all. It's cod to be the, I don't know. This is amazing. Smell all that? It smells like a high school dance. 